This sentence is a comparison, and like all comparisons, it needs to be framed in terms of parallel structure. So the first part of the sentence, we have a full sentence, full noun and verb structure, owning a house is a goal of a majority of young adults. And we're also, what we're trying to say is that owning a house was also a goal of a majority of an older generation. So we need to mirror the noun and verb structure. And also notice that the actual term to which we're making the comparison, young adults, appears after the preposition of. So we're actually going to need that preposition of in the second half of the sentence, of an earlier generation. And that only appears in a couple places. And notice also that, for example, A and B, they have no noun and verb at all. C and D do have a noun and verb, but in C, it's the verb earlier generations did. D have early generations have, and that's not quite the same construction as the first sentence. In other words, young adults are not the subject of the first half of the sentence. They're just the object of a prepositional phrase. Owning a house is the subject. Owning a house is a goal. And then to follow that with earlier generations did or earlier generations have, that doesn't match. It's like Stephen Colbert's I am America and you can too. The two don't really match. So C and D are out, and really the only one that has the perfect parallel structure is still a goal of a majority of young adults, as it, the goal, was of an earlier generation. E is clear, direct, sleek, and absolutely perfect. E is by far the best answer choice.